Hi, Sally Walker here, your hormone and slow age expert, and welcome to my happy health blog, and I am talking about longevity. So there's an interesting book out there, isn't it? It's not new, but it's still interesting and still very relevant. It's called Younger Next Year, isn't it? And it was uh, written by a doctor, Dr. Henry Lodge, and uh, an elderly gentleman called Chris, Chris Crowley. So good book, good read. So here's the rules which, uh, which he states in the book. And I think they're quite good. So rule number one, exercise six days a week, make exercise a job, okay? So instead of the, maybe the word exercise, I might want to use move. So you're gonna be doing some kind of movement six days a week, absolutely important. Here's rule number two, I love this one, cut out the junk, okay? So stop eating all the fast foods. Just try to focus on eating natural foods. Anything that's coming from a package or a tin or a box is going to be processed. There's going to be a lack of nutrients and there's going to be a load of uh, anti-nutrients or toxins or whatever you want to call it. Do you know what I think? I think that when, we, when the food industry produce foods, and they have to make, you know, put it on the label, how much protein, how much fat, how much carbohydrate, etc. what is in the food. I think that they all should also should put how much anti-nutrients they're in there. So how many heavy metals, how many um, to toxic fatty acids or rancid fatty acids, I should say. You know, how many of the things which, which are not good for us. I think that they should have to put that on the on the labels as well. Not just how much protein, fats, carbs, etc., but how many of these anti nutrients that will be there. Mm. Yeah. So cut the junk out. That's rule number two. Rule number three: connect and commit. Okay. So make new friends, people. You know, this is a we did this when we were younger, but why should we stop making new friends? Make new friends and connect with them, but also commit, that's a really important, make a goal and stick with it, okay? Goal-oriented people live longer and they are happier than the opposite. So I made a rule four, so this is my rule. It is never too late. You can start today. It doesn't matter if you're 70, it doesn't matter if you're 80, it doesn't matter how old you are. Your body is amazing and it will love you for the changes that you do and it will get better. It will get healthier. It will get stronger. Hey, come on. You're not going to be like 20, 30 years of age, but you definitely will be stronger than you are today if you start making the changes. So exercising or moving six days a week, getting the crap out, connecting and committing. Absolutely. Absolutely amazing. Happy hormones. Happy life.